Maccabim Rishon, 1 Maccabees 15. Moreover, Antiochus, son of Demetrius, the king, sent Sepharim from the isles of the sea unto Shimon, the priest and prince of the Yahudim, and to all the people. The contents whereof were these, King Antiochus to Shimon, the high priest and prince of his nation, and to the people of the Yahudim, greeting. For as much as certain pestilent men have usurped the kingdom of our fathers, and my purpose is to challenge it again, that I may restore it to the old estate, and to that end have gathered a multitude of foreign soldiers together and prepared ships of war, my meaning also being to go through the country, that I may be avenged of them that have destroyed it and made many cities in the kingdom desolate. Now, therefore, I confirm unto you, unto you all the oblations which the kings before me granted you, and whatsoever kings besides they granted. I give you leave also to coin money for your country with your own stamp. And as concerning Yerushalayim and the sanctuary, let them be free, and all the armor that you have made, and fortresses that you have built, and keep in your hands... Let them remain unto you. And if anything be or shall be, owing to the king, let it be forgiven you from this time forth forevermore. Furthermore, when we have obtained our kingdom, we will honor you and your nation and your temple with great honor so that your honor shall be known throughout the world. In the hundred threescore and fourteenth year went Antiochus into the land of his fathers, at which time all the forces came together unto him, so that few were left with Tryphon. Wherefore, being pursued by King Antiochus, he fled unto Dora, which lies by the seaside. For he saw that troubles came upon him all at once, and that his forces had forsaken him. Then camped Antiochus against Dora, having with him a hundred and twenty thousand men of war and eight thousand horsemen. And when he had compassed the city round about and joined ships close to the town on the seaside, he vexed the city by land and by sea. Neither suffered he any to go in, rather to go out or in. In the mean season came Numenius and his company from Rome, having Sepharim to the kings and countries, wherein were written these things. Lucius, council of the Romaim, unto King Ptolemy, greeting. The Yahudim's ambassadors, our friends and confederates, came unto us to renew the old friendship and league, being sent from Shimon, the high priest, and from the people of the Yahudim. And they brought a shield of gold of a thousand pound. We thought it good, therefore, to write unto the kings and countries that they should do them no harm, nor fight against them their cities or countries, nor yet aid their enemies against them. It seemed also good to us to receive the shield of them. If, therefore, there be any pestilent fellows that have fled from their country unto you, deliver them unto Shimon the high priest, that he may punish them according to their own Torah. The same things wrote he likewise unto Demetrius the king, and Atalus to Arar Athis and Arsex, and to all the countries and to Samsanis, rather Samp Samis, and the Lacedaemonians and to Delus and Mindus and Sichon, rather Sikyan and Caria, and Samos, and Paphilia, and Lycia, and Hale Caneasus, and Orodas, and Aradus, and Kos, and Side, rather Seed, and Aradus, and Gotana, and Snidas, 
and Cyprus and Cyrene. And the copy there, rather, and the copy hereof they wrote to Shimon the high priest. So Antiochus the king camped against Dora the second day, assaulting it continually and making enemies, by which means he shut up Tryphon, that he could neither go out nor in. At that time Shimon sent him two thousand chosen men to aid him, silver also and gold and much armor. Nevertheless, he would not receive them, but broke all the covenants which he had made with him afore, and became strange unto him. Furthermore, he sent unto him Athne Obias, one of his friends, to commune with him, and say, Ye withhold Yafo and Gazam with the tower that is in Yerushalayim, which are cities of my realm. The borders thereof ye have wasted, and done great hurt in the land, and got the dominion of many places within my kingdom. Now therefore deliver the cities which ye have taken, and, tribu and the tributes of the places, whereof ye have gotten dominion without the borders of Yehudah. Or else give me for them five hundred talents of silver, and for the harm that ye have done, and the tributes of the cities, other five hundred talents. If not, we will come and fight against you. So Athenobius, rather, Athenobius, the king's friend, came to Yerushalayim. And when he saw the glory of Shimon, and the cupboard of gold and silver plate, and his great attendance, he was astonished, and told him the king's message. Then answered Shimon, and said unto him, We have neither taken other men's land, nor held that which appertains to others. But the inheritance of our fathers, which our enemies had wrongfully in possession a certain time. Wherefore we, having opportunity, hold the inheritance of our fathers. And whereas you demand Yafo and Gadam, albeit they did great harm unto the people in our country, yet will we give you a hundred talents for them. Hereunto Athenobius answered him not a word. But returned in a rage to the king, and made report unto him of these speeches, and of the glory of Shimon, and of all that he had seen. Whereupon the king was exceeding wroth. In the meantime fled Tryphon by ship unto Orthos, rather, Orthos Yahu. Then the king made Sendibius captain of the sea coast, and gave him a host of footmen and horsemen and commanded him to remove his host toward Yahuda. Also he commanded him to build up Kidron, and to fortify the gates, and to war against the people. But as for the king himself, he pursued Tryphon. So Senadibius came to Yavneel, and began to provoke the people, and to invade Yahuda, and to take the people prisoners, and slay them. And when he had built up Chedro, he set horsemen there, and a host of footmen, to the end that issuing out they might make outroads upon the ways of Yahudah, as the king had commanded him.